In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your containment level nice and quickly in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Because as you guys know, if you get a good containment level, you can get some really nice perks like 20% off Pack-A-Punch, start with 5,000 essence and all sort of good things like that. But quickly before we do get into it, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications, turn on to miss any more videos on the channel. 97% of people that watch my content aren't subscribed to the channel, so make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. But let's get into the tips now. So one of the main things that is going to increase your containment level, as you guys will know, is completing contracts. And contracts in this game are actually very, very easy to complete. I'm not too sure if completing tier 1 contracts has a difference to completing tier 2 and tier 3. I'm assuming it does because obviously tier 3 contracts are more difficult to complete than the tier 1 contracts. So if you're going to grind contracts and get your containment level up, what you're going to want to do is jump into that tier 3 zone. And there are plenty of easy contracts that you guys can do. And even if you're not a confident player in the tier 3 zone, there are so many people that run around tier 3 now that you can quite easily run in there, request to join a squad, and majority of the time you are going to be able to join a squad that are completing contracts. So if you go down a couple of times, it's not going to matter, they're going to be able to revive you, and they're going to help you complete those contracts that you are struggling with. But if you're a more confident player that's happy to go in to the tier 3 zone, do the contracts by themselves, then you're going to be absolutely fine doing it that way. Of course, the easiest contracts to do in the tier 3 zone are going to be ones like the Deliver Cargo, the Bounty ones aren't too difficult, the Outlast ones and the Weapon Raid Stash are also very, very easy to do as well. You just got to hold down the area for a little while, which really isn't too difficult. The more annoying ones are something like the Spore Control, and I suppose the Bounties can be quite difficult if you're not fully kitted up. If you don't have a tier 3 pack a punch of a Legendary F tool gun, you might struggle a little bit more if you are solo. But like I said, if you're joining a squad, the majority of the time going to be 6 of you on that team can easily take down a high value target doing Bounty Contracts, and really Realistically, it's not going to be too difficult to do at all. The thing I recommend definitely having, guys, is a couple of perks. Stamina Up and Jug and PhD Flopper in the Tier 3 zone are three that you definitely want. Speed Cola is going to be a nice bonus, and any other perks that you can also have is also going to help with this. And also, when you're loading into the game, make sure you're going in with a gun that you're comfortable with. Whatever gun that is, I know a lot of people prefer different guns to what I prefer, and a lot of people will prefer different guns to what you prefer. So, whatever gun you are very comfortable with that does a good amount of damage in that Tier 3 zone when it's Tier 3 Pack-a-Punch, definitely go in with that. Also, put on the highest A for tool that you can, whether that's a Legendary, an Epic, a Rare. It doesn't really matter. Of course, the higher rarity it is, the more damage it is going to put onto your gun and allow you to do within the game. But just make sure you've got the highest rarity A for tool that you can take in. Like I said, try and Tier 3 pack punch it as fast as you can as well so then you're going to have the most damage that you can possibly have out of that gun in the tier 3 zone which is of course going to make completing those contracts a little bit easier and then any schematics you guys might have the aether blade case the golden plates the dog bone anything like that that's going to really help with taking out zombies and just helping you survive for longer is something you definitely want to try and get your hands on and take into the game because once again it's going to make completing those contracts much much easier in the tier 3 zone so if you want to get up to the highest containment level, which is of course 100 points, what you're going to want to do is just spend two to three games completely grinding contracts. It might not even take that long if you're just purely grinding contracts. Like I said, get into a game, go into tier three. If you're confident, run around yourself, just go and do the contracts. The one thing I will say, if you're solo, you might struggle to actually find contracts to do because like I said, there are so many people in the tier three zone. That's one problem I keep finding is I'm going into the game, I'm completing a contract, I'm going to start the next one and there's just no contracts available because there's like 20 people people running around the tier 3 zone just picking up every contract that spawns in so it might be more beneficial even if you're confident playing solo to join a different team because it's going to make the chance of you getting a contract to actually complete a lot higher because you're going to have different teammates that are going to have a much higher chance of getting to those contracts to be able to start them up and then you're not going to be going against the entire zone in tier 3 so what you do want to do is start the contract, obviously go ahead and complete it, doesn't matter what contract it is, just go ahead, complete that contract, and as soon as it's finished, do the rewards, get whatever rewards you want from the rifts, go ahead and start the next contract, and just grind through contracts time after time and after time after time, every time you finish a contract, be looking to start the next contract straight away, and just grind out as many contracts as you can, you want to try and get into the tier 3 zone within the first 5 minutes of the game if you can, like I said, try and load in with schematics and things like that that you can put in your backpack straight away to give you a good start off the rip, then you can get straight into the tier 3 zone and start completing those contracts if you do need to do a couple contracts in tier one and tier two to get some loot it's not the end of the world you are still going to obviously be increasing that containment level 
but of course you want to get into that tier 3 because you're going to start getting better rewards you're going to get a little bit more XP towards the containment level and overall just get better loot out of the game you're playing in anyway so it's a bit of a win-win you're going to increase that containment level which is going to give you the nice rewards to load in with and every time you complete a game obviously your containment level is going to be higher so you're going to start the game with a few extra little perks every game as well which is a nice bonus but you're also going to be grinding tier 3 which is going to give you a nice bit of loot to actually come out with so then when you do go into the next game you're really going to be nice and kitted out to go ahead and make this game and this grind a lot more easier so as some of you may know, if you load into the Dark Aether Zone, you actually lose some containment level for going into the Dark Aether Zone. I'm not too sure why this is. I think it might be a bug and it's not actually meant to be like that. But as far as I'm aware, they haven't actually fixed this as of right now. You do still lose some containment level when you do go into the Dark Aether Zone. So that is one thing to bear in mind. If you are purely just trying to grind out the containment level, maybe don't go into the Dark Aether Zone for a couple games. Just go into Tier 3, grind out your contracts, complete as many as you can. And when you're ready to finish the game and you've got maybe five minutes left of the game, you just go in exfil normally. Just go to a normal x zone get in the helicopter and fly off and this isn't going to affect your containment level but if you're quite a confident player and you know you're going to be grinding zombies quite a lot you can go ahead jump into the dark aether zone complete the contracts there you can get some really nice loot out of those contracts and then you can exfil out of that dark aether zone with obviously a lot better loot because you're going to get better loot out of the dark aether zone so if you're confident and you're going to be grinding zombies and completing contracts all the time you're not really going to have to worry about losing a couple of containment level xp going into the dark aether zone because you're going to get some good loot out of it and then if you know you're going to go into that next game and grind tier 3 contracts again don't worry about it go and jump into the dark aether zone but if you're someone that just plays every now and then you just sort of want to start starting the game with 5000 essence and 20% off the pack a punch you just want the highest containment level to make the game a little bit more fun for you you can sort of get the stuff you want off the start of the game then maybe don't go into the dark aether zone just grind your contracts get up to the highest containment level that you possibly can and then just go ahead and exfil normally and that is going to keep your containment level there and bear in mind, guys, if you do die or you crash out of the game or whatever happens, you're not going to completely lose the whole containment level. You're going to slowly drop down. Like You're going to drop down a few tiers, but you're not going to lose absolutely everything. Because in my last game, I had a containment level streak of 198. I then ended up crashing in-game, so my game just completely crashed. And obviously, I got reset. I lost all my loot. I didn't have a large backpack. You know, I got completely reset, and I dropped down to 18 containment level. So I didn't lose everything, but I did lose a fair chunk, to be totally honest. So what I recommend is just trying to keep this containment level as high as you possibly can. And the reason for this is if something does happen like your game crashes or you die and you didn't have a self-revive when you thought you did or something along those lines, then you're not going to start right the way at the very beginning having to build the whole entire containment level all the way back up. So what I recommend doing is just trying to build it up and just stay on top of it. Try and get it as high as you can. Just game after game. Even if you've already got 100 containment level streaks, go ahead and just get more and more and more and more. Like I said, I had, I had 198 at one point and I still got reset all the way down to 18, which is kind of crazy. So definitely try and build on it as much as you can. Like I said, that is the easiest way of doing it. It's just completing the contracts. It's about the only way you can do it. I believe exfilling normally also actually increases it a tiny little bit. But like I said, going into the Dark Aether Zone is going to decrease it. So just exfilling and contracts is going to be the easiest way to build up your containment level. And like I said, as far as I'm aware, Tier 3 does give you better streaks and better containment level XP doing Tier 3 contracts than it does in Tier 2 and Tier 1. But if I'm wrong on that, please do feel free to correct me in the comments below. I will happily hold my hands up and say, you know what, I was wrong. Thank you guys for letting me know. So if you do know about that, and if Tier 3 is better than Tier 1 and Tier 2, please do let me know in the comments. But I'm pretty sure Tier 3 contracts and then X filling normally, not going to the Dark Aether Zone, is going to be the best way to build up that containment level nice and quickly. And like I said, in 2 to 3 games, you can pretty much have this max out as long as you are just spamming contracts just completing contract after contract after contract is going to make this so fast it's going to make it nice and easy you're also going to come out with some decent loot and like i said it probably take you two to three games to fully max this out and as I mentioned before, if you're someone that struggles with Tier 3, just go into the Tier 3 zone, request to join a squad, just run to a different squad where you can see them on the map, run up to them, request to join the squad, and majority of the times, they are going to let you join their squad, and if they don't, just run out of the Tier 3 zone if you're not comfortable there, just run out into the Tier 3, and go and do contracts in a zone that you're comfortable in, and then in the next game, try the Tier 3 strategy again. But if you're confident in Tier 3, just run around the Tier 3 zone and grind out as many contracts as you can, go and jump into an x helicopter, get out of the game, and you are going to get your containment level up nice and quickly in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Hopefully today's video has helped you guys out. If it has, please be sure to smash a thumbs up as it helps me out way more than you can imagine. Check out the rest of the channel for more Zombies content, and if you do enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on because we're very close to 25k subs now. So if you can help with that, that'd be absolutely amazing. But I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.